going towards understanding what exactly is artificial intelligence, I just want to talk some more things about me. So I completed my engineering uh, from a third tier college back then in 2011. At that point of time when I was studying, you know, definitely I'm from computer science background, I used to learn a lot of programming languages. But the thing that was lagging is that I never understood how we could actually implement something that is definitely useful for the real world application side. So as soon as I passed out of my college, I obviously got placed in one of the MNCs. Then I started working as a software engineer. But one fine day, when I was working as a software engineer, I developed a very simple application. The application was something like this, like you just log in into a website and probably some products will get recommended in front of you. This application was built on basic rule based system. Like suppose if your age is between this and this, if you are probably male or female based on that, that specific products will get displayed in front of you. This is what a simple application it was. But one fine day, what happened is that I met with one of my friend who was doing his masters at that point of time. And he said that, Krish, tell me like what kind of project you are implementing. So I just opened up the website in front of him and showed him. This is what we are doing and this is the model that I have specifically developed. After that, what happened was quite amazing. Okay? So he said that, Krish, this is an AI application. Okay? I was like, what is AI? I never knew that because I have just created a rule based system and you are calling it as an AI application. Right? But I did not tell him how did I implement that. Okay? So after that, I took interest into AI. Okay? Specifically how things are implemented and at that point of time because right now I am telling you that I started studying about AI, machine learning, deep learning, data science in 2013. That is somewhere around eight, seven to eight years back. At that point of time, materials were not that much available in the internet itself. Very limited materials. So I took the help of my friend. I brought a lot of materials while he was doing his masters. And he definitely helped me to understand about artificial intelligence. And then just within a three months time, I was able to make a transition. Now why did I specifically like AI? Because the kind of functionalities or application that I was actually building, it was impacting, it was, it was providing a positive impact to a larger audience. And I definitely knew that yes, this is my aim. This is my aim. That even though I create a simple application, it should create a positive impact to many people. At that point of time, I just said that, okay, fine, I will be in this technology sector and I'll start doing a lot of research into it. Now, the thing was that I faced a lot of difficulties while learning, right? So, when I was actually learning, you know, I thought of a concept like I can share my code to the open source developer community. Because obviously at that point of time, people were still researching and working on the AI field itself. So people liked that specific stuff. So many people started saying to me that, Krish, uh, how you are specifically being able to create so many different kind of applications specifically to AI? That time I thought of the concept that, fine, I will try to provide you some videos like how did I prepare with respect to the AI so that you can also use it in your industry or in your domain and you can implement applications. At that point of time, I started my YouTube channel. Currently, it is somewhere around 550k subscribers and it has created a positive impact. Why I'm saying about positive impact? Because there is an amazing quote which I'm going to tell about it. It is, it is just about adding values in others' lives. And once you start adding values in others' lives, you can do many, many things. Okay? So, after that, uh, you know, one fine day, the normal question that I usually get, Krish, I'm from this domain. I'm working probably in this technology. I don't know programming. Can I get into analytics sector? Can I probably work as a data scientist? And the answer over here, to everyone I say, whether you're from programming or not programming background, the answer is yes. Because the most important thing in AI or in data science or in machine learning is with respect to the problem statement that you're working in and for 
implementing that problem statement perfectly, you really need to have a good domain knowledge. So, tomorrow let's say that I am working for an agriculture domain problem statement. Better than me, a farmer can give me a good results. He can give me the data that I actually want. He can tell me that, Krish, if you do this, this way the crops will grow. Right? So, if you really want to make a transition towards data science, there are two ways. Either work entirely as a data scientist or become a domain expertise and try to implement that entire project. So, in these two ways, you can definitely make a transition. Now, this was a question that was regularly asked by people whether we can make a switch or not. And I think from this, you can definitely understand anybody can do it. But I really want to talk about some positive impacts that has been created in people's lives, you know. And with ease, even many governments throughout the nation are now using AI to automate many things. Let me tell you, let me share you a simple story that just happened one month back. So, I stay in an apartment, right, there, there are somewhere around 500 to 600 apartments in my area. So, there the security person, he is like, he, he talks quite friendly with me. I usually say, hey, how are you, what's going on, kya chal raha hai, a good. So what happened after there? One fine day, I said that on a Sunday morning. So how's your work going on? I just asked that security guy. He just said that, Krish, my work is really becoming boring. I just have to write down the number of the car that is coming in and going out. And then I thought, okay, fine, that is your work. But he said that, Krish, I really want to make this work also interesting. Then I gave him an idea. Why not create an AI application? And that I have already done it. I create an AI application which can be installed in a camera and that camera work will be just to, it will be placed near the security guy, means in the entrance. At that point of time, whenever it sees a car, it tracks down the number plate and it automatically extracts that data and puts it in the Excel sheet. Now, after seeing that application, I just implemented it, I installed in his computer because he has a basic computer which is more than sufficient to run that application. After seeing that, after seeing that, he thought, wow, this is just amazing. Now understand over here, a security guy who is just 12th pass, who is just 12th pass with some basic maths, basic science, now he's thinking, can I also do this? This is an amazing work. And I said, yes, obviously you can do it. Then from that specific day, he's now learning things and he's thinking that how can I make this work, work more automated and definitely reduce my pressure. So here he is thinking to evolve with respect to technology and try to use in his domain. As I said, right, a security guy can also become a data scientist. This is the thing that I am saying. I am just giving an example because security guy has his own domain knowledge. Whatever domain he may be working in, right? A person, suppose he is working in mechanical engineer, civil engineer, right now, I have seen some people working in drone, in, wherein they are making an end-to-end -end drone project for various agriculture, e-commerce sector and many more things. They are also a mechanical engineer who is specifically required to design the CAD. He is using his skill sets and is converting that by using some AI components and he is creating a very smart drone. So this is what I am trying to specify is that if you have a will, to get into AI, that is specifically artificial intelligence, yes, you can do it. Never think that you are from a non-programming background or you are from this background, no one cares. Right? So this was with respect to the basic question where people ask that, whether you can make a switch on that. And my answer is definitely yes. Now, this was the thing. Now, why AI is becoming right now very much popular? In 2005, when Facebook was launched, at that time, many people started using social media, right? And after that, Instagram, many more social media networking sites had actually come. When they were surfing throughout the social media sites, at that time, they started creating a lot of data. The profile data, the clicks data, the, uh, the kind of data that you probably can get after you, uh, how many minutes you are serving in this specific page, which page you are actually seeing, everything. That entire data is captured. Now, companies cannot Initially, the challenge was how to store that data efficiently. That was the challenge initially the company faced. The company came up with some amazing system of Hadoop, big data. I hope you have heard about that specific term. 
Then they efficiently stored that data. Now the next thing was that the company started thinking, should we delete this data after 5 to 10 years? Or can we utilize that specific data to make our product better so that we can earn revenue from that? So that was the plan, what they started doing it. That is the reason why AI became popular. It was reusing the previous data and it was trying to make its product so good that the users will definitely like it. If I talk about Netflix, if I talk about Amazon Prime, if I talk about Amazon.in, what is the main aim of Netflix? It is that it wants you to stay in their app for a longer period of time. And how does it do that? By providing good recommendation of the movies. And that, by that specific way, you are staying for a longer period of time and you are seeing movies day and night. Right? You basically say that they are binge watching. Right? And I, I, I know many people does that whenever you are free. Right? Five hours, six hours, seven hours. And that is what they want. Right? Now, I'm just going to show you some of the amazing use cases by which you will definitely know that how AI can create a larger impact, larger positive impact. Okay, so here is an amazing use case which is called as Firefighter Autonomous Drone. Now whenever I talk about drone, mechanical guys get excited. Now what is the aim over here? See, this is entirely for disaster management. Suppose in a building fire is there and obviously it may take time to spread. Drones from the top aerial view, you can see on the right hand side, they can clearly capture and they can clearly detect where smoke is there. And by that, they can directly send a signal to the firefighter of those longitude and latitude and by that, they will be clearly able to detect where that specific disaster has happened. So that quick action can be taken place. Instead, you are waiting for that specific event to happen. So this was one of the amazing uh, applications with respect to the drone. And here, AI is implemented with object detection. So object is getting detected over here and based on that, that signal gets passed. Coming to the next one, protecting marine life with drones. Again, I'm specifically talking to drones because these are some of the use cases, right? I'll also talk about healthcare in some time. So over here you can see that you have seen this scenario wherein, you know, ships that are taking oils from place A to place B, right? When they are going, suppose some disaster happened and because of that the oil has completely leaked. Now drones can also capture that. So here you can see clearly the detection that is happening with masking, right? And again, if this is getting detected and that signal is passed to the coastal areas, just imagine how quickly that can be handled or taken care of, right? Because of the spill, the ecology environment in that specific sea can get impacted. And if it is taken care of earlier or so it, it will just prevent all this disaster to happen. Coming to the next one, this is a very interesting project. Okay, Intelligent Ro Radiologist Assistant, which we basically say IRA. So, the main aim of this particular project is to diagnose uh, specific tumors. Suppose there is a tumor kind of things uh, within the brain from the MRI scan to come up with quick conclusions. So here it is what? This is an MRI scan and you, here you can basically see some... Just a second. Okay, here you can basically see some green color, red color, right? So this basically indicates that there is something, some problems with respect to that, right? Some, some object is there, right? It can be a malignant, it can be a benign, it can be any kind of tumors that is actually available. So this is also a very super thing. If I show you a detailed uh, implementation or detailed uh, experimentation with respect to this, this is how the entire MRI scan will go. You can see over here, the brain, it is just slicing, slicing, slicing and checking out each and every part and here is the tumor part that you can specifically see. This is how powerful AI can be used and it is definitely impacting lives. Because with a high probability rate, you know, you are actually being able to see the specific output over there and quick action can be taken to save people's lives. Coming to the next one, 
Here you can see AI based genome sequencing. Now here, what it does is that based on the gene sequences, they can probably predict in the future you may have diabetes. You may probably have this disease. And based on that also you can quickly take up the action beforehand so that the person do not face that. So these are some of the use cases. So as I said, how AI is impacting our lives? People talk about AI also has a negative impact. But definitely we human beings, right? We want our future kids to also see our world in an amazing way, right? We want them to live like how we have specifically lived right now. And in order to use, a, if we come up with more positive applications with respect to AI, and that is the reason, in a recent survey also it has said that most number of researchers that are currently happening is happening in the field of AI. And this is with respect to in every domain that they can basically target. Let's say marketing, e-commerce, retail, sales, any domain that you specifically want to work, there should be a problem statement to solve it. It may be an automation, it may be a prediction, it may be future forecasting, it may be a different things. At that point of time, we are impacting others' life itself. Right? So, this is just not impacting some, some crowd, some cluster of people. It is impacting in a positive way for a larger audience. So, coming to the last thing, here are some of the references that I have specifically taken to show you about autonomous drone, marine life with drones and all, along with the links. And, as always said, from my YouTube channel, I have added values in others' life. I have shared my knowledge, I have made sure that people learn about AI a lot. So I really want to close my speech by saying this amazing sentence. A rich person is just not rich because of his money, but because of the values that he adds in others' life. So it's my request, start to add values in others' life. Trust me, you will grow longer, you will grow like anything, and by that you will also feel super proud of you. Thank you.